okay so hello everyone i'm akash and i welcome you to this new video on the channel and in this video i'm going to show you how i created a dual boot system using windows 10 and kali linux and i did it not by creating lots of uh, different partitions during the linux installation i just created one partition and i did all the installation in that one partition and i created a dual boot system so what I'm going to show you is the easiest way to dual boot a system. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I have these two things here that we are going to need in this video. Uh, the first one is uh, this Win32 disk imager with which we are going to create a bootable pen drive. And the next is a Kali Linux ISO file. So I'm going to give the link for both of these in the video description down below. So go ahead uh, down there and you can uh, go into the links and download both of these files. And here, as you can see that this is the 19.4 version and it is of 64 bit. So here is uh, the ISO file. So now I'm going to insert my uh, pen drive. Okay, so now here, as you can see that I have this uh, pen drive inserted uh, on my machine and this is of 32 GB. So I'm going to use this uh, USB drive to create a bootable uh, media for Kali Linux. So the letter for this is G. And now I'm going to run this Win32 disk imager. Okay, so here as you can see, it has automatically detected uh, the USB drive so that is G okay so here I'm going to click on this uh, little icon and I'm going to choose my ISO file okay so here we have to select this option so that uh, we can see our ISO file so this is the ISO file and I'm going to open it okay so now it is uh, showing that file here now I'm going to keep all the things as it is and I'm just going to click on write and yes and it is going to start uh, writing this uh, ISO file and create a bootable pen drive so I'm just going to fast forward this uh, so that uh, you don't have to wait okay so as you can see that it is uh, successfully written so I'm just going to close it and let's open uh, this PC and here is our media now I'm just going to eject it okay so I would recommend you to create uh, the backup of all the files that you have on your system so that uh, during this installation process if anything goes wrong then you can uh, get back all your files you can also create a restore point with which you can go back to your previously created image of uh, your windows uh, disk so here to do that you just have to write restore point and here it is so you just have to click on this and here you have to uh, select the drive so c drive and then click on create and you will have to give a name for your restore point so give a name to this and click on create and it is going to automatically create a restore point and you can uh, configure everything here so this is how you can create a restore point and i would highly recommend to do all these things and uh, back up your files as well so uh, during dual boot if anything goes wrong then uh, you have your own so in so during dual boot if anything goes wrong then at least you don't lose all your files okay so now i'm going to head off onto my laptop and i'm going to show you the dual boot process there okay so here i am on my uh, laptop and i have this freshly installed windows 10 on this laptop so as you can see here it is uh, there is nothing that i have installed on this uh, windows 10 yet okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to shrink this c drive into half 
and I'm going to install the Kali Linux on the other half. So I'm just going to go into uh, the manager. So I have right clicked on this PC and here I'm going to select manager. Okay, so here I have uh, the manager open. Now I'm going to go into the disk management. So let me just zoom in. So here in disk management, so in that as you can see here this is our c drive so i'm going to right click here so i'm going to select here this shrink volume option okay so here is one uh, dialog box open okay so in here i'm going to just uh, shrink it to half so i'm going to write one okay now i'm just going to uh, click on shrink okay so i have uh, created another unallocated partition so here is it and here is uh, where i'm going to install the kali linux so let me just zoom out okay so now what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to cancel everything and now i'm going to insert my uh, usb pen drive that uh, we just created so this is my 32 gb bootable pen drive that uh, i just created so I'm going to insert this uh, in my laptop. Okay, so this is uh, the pen drive. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down my PC and uh, go into the boot menu. So I'm going to shut down. And to go into the boot menu what uh, we have to do is on my laptop I have uh, this button let me just focus in here okay so this is the button with which I can open the boot menu or uh, if I want to go into the BIOS setup then I can do that using this button on your uh, laptop it can be uh, located on a different place so you have to search it for yourself and on uh, desktop uh, you can just press the f10 key uh, for going into the boot menu or f2 for going into the bios setup okay so i'm going to start my pc using this button Okay, so as you can see here, we have the option for normal startup, then BIOS setup, then uh, boot menu, and then system recovery. So I'm going to go into the boot menu. Okay, so in boot menu, I'm going to select my USB uh, pen drive. So this is the EFI USB uh, device. So I'm going to select this one. Okay, so we are in uh, the boot menu for uh, Kali Linux. So here I am going to go into the last option which says advanced options and enter. And here I am going to select the first option that says install in graphical mode. So again enter. Okay, so now I am going to uh, continue with the default and here I'm going to select India continue then I'm going to continue with the default one okay so now we are in the network configuration section now a lot of people have problems during the network configuration so uh, mine has automatically detected but i'm just going to skip this uh, so that i can show you that you can install uh, without setting up the network also so i'm just going to click on this 
go back and we are just going to skip this configure to the network uh, and I'm just going to go into the next step that is the setup user and passwords okay so now I'm going to uh, set up my uh, password for the root user so this is the password which uh, you will want to use when you have freshly installed the Linux and you do not have any user created yet so this is the password that you are going to need after the installation so you have to remember this password okay so now I'm just going to click on continue and it is again going back to uh, configuring the network but still I'm going to go back and it was in the configure the clock so I'm just going to skip that as well and I'm going to go into the next step that is detect disk okay so here is where we are going to do the partitioning of our disk so I'm going to uh, go into the manual and then here here is uh, the free space where uh, we have to install the Kali Linux okay so what I'm going to do is I'm now just going to create one simple partition so I'm just going to double click on it and create a new partition and I'm going to use the whole uh, disk space and I have this ext4 file system and this is going to be the root partition and I'm going to click on done setting up the partition and continue and now I'm just going to click on this finish partitioning and writing changes to disk and continue and now it is going to say that we haven't created any swap space so I haven't created any swap space because I am uh, using an SSD on my laptop so if you are also using an SSD then I recommend you to not create a swap area and just uh, install the Kali Linux without that but if you are using an HDD then you can create a swap space as it can act as uh, another uh, physical memory so I'm just going to click on no and continue and I have this uh, one partition and yes I want to write the changes to this disk so I'm going to click on continue again okay so now it is installing the system on uh, my disk okay so this is going to take some time so I'm just going to skip this part okay so the installation is uh, done now uh, it is asking me that whether I want a network mirror or not so I'm not going to use a network mirror so I'm going to just uh, select no and then I'm going to click on continue so now it is installing the bootloader on the hard drive okay so installation is uh, finishing now so after the installation is finished uh, we'll be able to boot into Kali Linux as well as into uh, the Windows 10 system so right now this is installing uh, the final things and as you can see that it is finally completed uh, the installation and it is completed successfully so now I'm going to click on continue and now it is going to uh, restart the machine okay so it has restarted okay now as you can see here that we have the option for booting into Kali Linux that is the first option and in the third option it says Windows Boot Manager so we can boot into Windows as well so let's first boot into Kali Linux
Okay, so here is uh, the login screen. Okay, so here we have to use the username root for the login and the password will be the one that we inserted during the installation. So mine was one, two, three, four, five, six and login. Okay, so it has uh, successfully logged in and let's go into our home directory okay so now it is uh, showing us this another volume that is the windows volume so if i open it then as you can see here uh, all the windows uh, files and folders are here so this is uh, the windows 10 volume that it's showing now let's log out and I'm going to click on restart so now we are going to uh, boot into the Windows 10 so here I'm going to select this third option that is Windows boot manager okay so uh, we are on the windows uh, login screen so i'm going to log into this okay so here is uh, the windows 10 okay so this is how you can create a dual boot system okay so as you saw just now that i created a dual boot system uh, with just creating one root partition during the uh, installation process so this is how you can create a dual boot system so this was the easiest way to dual boot Windows 10 and Kali Linux onto your system. So if you like this video, then click on the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more of these videos, then click on that red subscribe button down below. And that's it for this video. And I will see you in the next one.